Today I'm going to guide you through a 15 minute therapeutic art practice that is going to help you with stress or anxiety. A few simple supplies that you will need are heavyweight paper, permanent ink like a sharpie, a few paint brushes, as well as a fluid art medium like watercolor, a cup of water, and I always like to add music that represents how I want to feel, so I threw some meditation music on in the background. You want to ground yourself before you start. I do this by placing both hands onto my paper. I take a deep breath in and release it. And with that release, I allow that anxiety that is in my body to travel through my body and into my hands. And now that I have allowed my anxiety or my stress to be released from my body, I am given it a place to live and that is on my canvas, no longer inside of me. Set your intention for this practice and begin to draw. Allowing the freedom of expression to come out of me, I am using lines and scribbles to release that stress or anxious feelings onto my paper. Using repetitive movements, this is allowing me to release and translate how I am feeling in a safe and healthy way. As you are scribbling, I want you to feel your anxiety. Feel it in its most powerful form. Reach down deep and try to locate where it lives. Now notice your body. Are you feeling tension anywhere in your body? Does your chest feel tight? Maybe you feel it in your shoulders or your head. As you're scribbling, think about that emotion in your body and where it is living. Now take a deep breath in and release it. Give it a big release. I want you to keep scribbling and keep working through this. Keep drawing those lines and keep getting that out of you. Exaggerate those lines, exaggerate how you're feeling, and think about how with every stroke of your pen, that this emotion is being released. Just let it all go. Try to relax and feel that tension leaving your body. Start at your feet. Maybe you even want to wiggle your toes. Moving into your ankles and up your legs, physically feel that tension release from your body. Continue to move up your body. Tell yourself, I am relaxed. I am releasing this emotion. I am releasing this burden. This feeling belongs here on this paper. No longer inside of me. As you continue to draw, you may notice that your marks look different, but if they don't, that is okay. There is no right or wrong way to do this practice. But if you feel that your emotions are starting to change, you can translate that onto your paper. Think about a calm place inside of you and what that looks like. Reach for that calmness and invite it in. Now allow that peace to live in place of that anxiety. Now once you have allowed those emotions to switch places, take a moment to reflect on the marks that you have made. Sit with your emotions and how you are feeling in this very moment. Give yourself another deep breath in and release it. Now you are going to add your fluid art to your paper. Pick colors that are soothing to you and add them to your marks.
In this step of the practice, we are reaching for calmness in the midst of chaos. Looking at the anxiety that is on your paper as something that can be transformed, something that you have control over. Using this fluid medium will stimulate your visual sensory experience and help promote calmness as you watch yourself paint. Take another deep breath in, fill in your lungs with air, and release it. Relax your back, your neck, and your mind, and focus on the marks that you are making. Give yourself permission to have clarity, peace, and calmness. Notice how you feel as you add paint to your paper and the sensation of calmness that comes over you as you swirl your paint. Get familiar with this awareness and your ability to regulate your emotions. And remember that we can't always control why we feel the way that we do, but we can take control over the things that we do and the practices that we have to help us feel better. I hope that as you finish this practice that you are feeling so much better. Remember to take time afterwards to reflect on this piece that you created. Ask yourself how you felt in the beginning, how you felt during it, and of course, how you were feeling afterwards. I encourage you to take this simple practice and add it to your life. You can do this daily or weekly. Just 15 minutes a day to connect with yourself and express how you're feeling will help you feel so much better. I always encourage people that do these practices to continue working until you reach that sense of gratification, that sense of completion, and you can leave this exercise just like this, or if you want to take it one step further, I encourage you to journal down your thoughts and feelings after so that you can reflect more intuitively. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, I hope this was a help to you. If you liked this video and you found value in it, I just ask that you give us a thumbs up and of course, follow this channel to receive more therapeutic art activities right in your feed.